Today's episode of the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla, we're going to be doing the second part of our uh, hatchet series. So we're doing some hatchet and axes that we're redoing. And um, these are old hatchet, hatchet heads and axe heads that we've found at different places while we're digging up gold. And we're going to turn them into something a little more special. So we've got one done already, Woody. I'll put the link up here if you want to see the video that that was in. We didn't do the whole production. But this one, you're going to see how we do it from start to finish. Let's go check it out. So this is the axe head that we uh, are going to start with today. And uh, this is the Woody that we've already got completed. And you guys can see that on that vlog that we shared earlier. That's a champion uh, hatchet head, and it's a 13-inch hatchet. This has the square pummel, a nice little decorative V-shape there. And the way this angles, uh, this is the bottom, is the part that has this blowout that we have to take care of. Now, our idea for this axe head, since we're doing a series of characters, is Bucky. This is going to be Bucky the Beaver, and this will be done in a paint job. It'll look like a beaver. Um, probably be the copper or paint tone here. This will all be hand honed, probably even up into here, or this will be black. And these teeth will be white with the, with the eye and the pink nose. Now the hammer head, we're going to do a um, waffle cut into it. And we're going to round up this so it looks more like a beaver tail. And uh, some of the hammerheads have the waffle, end, waffle ends to it. This one will have the waffle end when we're done. And we're going to clean up these blowouts. So a lot of cleaning to do here. And uh, we're going to start out with this walnut handle. And I've already laid this out. And basically this will be the part that goes into the hatchet head. And it'll have this nice swell to it, and then it'll come back to this uh, less low uh, curve curvature here, and then it'll be cut off at an angle, probably more of this less abut uh, abrupt angle here. And this is exactly 16 inches from the tip to the end. So this will be a 16 inch ha hatchet, and we'll decorate the handle too. But I wanted to work with a little bit bigger piece of wood. Uh, Woody is more of a throwing type axe, maybe a small camp axe with you know to put in uh, tent stakes and stuff. This will be more of a forest axe hatchet. These are both hatchets. This will be more of a forest type hatchet when we're done. So let's get right into it. Okay, I'm gonna take this cutting wheel and a wire wheel and I'm gonna clean this up and take this uh bulge out and put the waffle in and start my honed edge and then my hand hone it but um you can do this on a like a grinding wheel but i'm doing this in my spare time lunches breaks whatever so i'm gonna do it with this angle grinder We got her all cleaned up and the edge re put in for the right angle. Uh, we should be able to hand hone that now. And uh, we do have some rust divots and stuff, but that's okay. Nobody's gonna mistake that. That looks like a beaver tail. Now for the handle. Here
so we have our basic shape here. This will be where the hatchet head sets. Got the nice little swell on the back. And you'll hold it this way. And then there I was. 2 a.m. Hicksville ER. Staring into the eyes of a young long-haired doctor. Who was taking a battery-powered Dremel and cleaning off the top layer of my eye. He pulled out two shards of metal, said that rust rings were left in my eye. He had to take that Dremel and clean out the rust. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and share this video out. Okay, so this is where we got yesterday, and uh, put the handle on, I taped this off, I did spray this with an enamel, uh, because I'm doing a themed broad hatchet. Um, we're going to get in here and uh, paint the rest of this up, and I'll time lapse some of that, and uh, oil up this handle, and I'll show you what this looks like when it's all finished. Now, before we go any further, I do want to say, um, this is a broad hatchet. Be careful, wear your safety glasses. I did wear safety glasses, but uh, some metal got up underneath it, and I'm having, they say it's going to be okay. My vision's still good, but it is awful sore. Second point, I want to say, go check out this channel up here. Um, his name is The Bearded craftsman the bearded carpenter his name go check out this channel up here his name's the bearded carpenter and in this episode you get to see all about his broad axes and he has a broad hatchet you might even see old bucky here in a uh, original form so if you're interested in the broad axes and broad hatchets go check out the bearded carpenter click this link right now Click this link right after, watch this video all the way through, come back, click this link. Okay, so I just had the second Dremel cleaning of the rust out of my eye. Uh, this time was by a eye surgeon, and uh, she was a little more gentle, but it seemed to hurt more this time. This is the second time in less than 12 hours I had my eye Dremeled out. When I did the tongue and the nose, I just put the red enamel on first and I sprayed the teeth and everything all white and kind of blended it. Kind of made it kind of a pink color. So it should be a pinkish red um, tongue. Tongues and nose and then the white teeth. We are going to put uh, an eye. And I think I'm going to try to put the four legs on the bottom side somewhere. You see this curve? The curve to the hatchet that's uh that's what a broad hatchet has now this side's supposed to be flat and this side's supposed to have that um edge honed edge but uh i think they both have a honed edge be good for uh delimbing trees and uh camping and forest work but this was hand poured there's no maker's mark or anything so this is a pretty old uh, broad hatchet. Should be a pretty nice addition. Okay, so we just have some light refining to do with the paint. There's Bucky with his big old ear, his droopy eyes, his big old teeth ready to mouth some. Some wood up. Like a big old woodchuck. This is Bucky the beaver. And there's his beaver tail. We're going to clean that up, make that uh, the square shiny, so it'll be black and silver. We're going to refine the um, paint job a little bit. That tape still has to come off that 
top wedge there. You can see the little hair job. Isn't he so cute? Yep. So that's old Bucky. And then we're going to finish up this handle, get some paint on it, oil it up, get the size and weight on here. And this is our broad axe. No, it's a broad hatchet redo. So this one's Bucky. And we have a few more in this series, so stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you do. And uh, we'll see you next time. Stick around. We've got some photos of the finishing pieces. And I'll show you what I do with my handle. Real quick, like. So you'll get the full effect when uh, I show you the photos. But we're just going to use a Mimwax uh, antique finish oil to finish this off. Look at that grain. And I figured this walnut handle would look really nice with the beaver. Nice dark handle and we're just going to wipe it into the grain. Doesn't take very much and this is going to keep it from staining. Uh, protect it from some light uh, moisture like when you're outside you don't want to leave this outside in the rain but if you're out camping and it gets a little dew on it this is going to keep it from warping on you and uh, it's going to keep it from being slippery it's going to have a dull luster so it'll look like it's been there forever but it is going to seal the wood up Now, I do like this swell here. I know it looks kind of big, but when you're uh, hewing, you're holding it down here. And you see this little twist to it? That's common for broad axes and broad hatchets. And that's so because you're doing a lot of this work. And normally this is a flat side, but it does have an extra edge. Um, and I don't know if that's common for hatchets or just because this was hand forged at some point or it's been modified since it was made. But I like it with the double edge so if I was bringing it back to original I'd get that side flat again and take that edge out. But that's not what I'm doing here. So you just want to work it in there. And you can, I'm just using a paper towel, but some of the paper towel comes off on the rough edges, so you'll go back over it. And I usually just go back over it with like a terry cloth rag, and that'll sand it up some even. But look how pretty that handle is. Isn't that gorgeous? So number two, Bucky the Beaver. He almost looks like a weasel. If it wasn't for that beaver tail. Peace, guys. Thank you.